Good morning, guys. Woke up a little bit extra early because I'm about to start my meat prep. Yes, you heard me right. I'm going to do a meat. I'm probably going to do the meat at Barbell Brigade. We have one every single year. Um, it's going to be a powerlifting competition. And I believe it's in June. All last year, you guys saw me. Um, I was pretty much injured in a, either that or I was too fatigued balancing dad life with my training life and then my lifting life with my martial arts life and it kind of sucked you know like there was a point where I was lifting and I'm like damn what am I even doing for this for all my top sets were pretty much the beginning of my warm-ups like I just felt so weak and I felt like I couldn't accomplish what I did before and there's definitely like a loss of identity where you're like Okay, so I'm really weak from what I used to be. I don't even know if my lifts are inspiring people. Why am I lifting? I'm not even competing anymore. Um, what What's the point of doing all this besides just going through the motions, you know? But um, one thing the military has taught me is regardless of how you feel, you always just got to go through the motions because you never know when the motivation might catch back up to you. And... Uh, one of the dopest lessons that I learned from a special forces dude, and SEALs have the same saying, is never make a decision when going uphill. Like when you're, when you choose to attack a hill and you're going up it, obviously every single cell in your body is like telling you, turn around, turn around, this is fucking hard, your lungs are burning, what the hell are you doing this for? Turn around. You know, so that's why when, when you're faced with adversity, it's actually the worst time to make a decision climb that hill get on top of that hill and then go you know what nah i'm not gonna do that again but more than likely when you do something amazing like that like you finish the marathon you're probably gonna be like you know i'm down to do it again so i didn't want to make a decision when going uphill you know i wanted to make sure my back was healed i wanted to make sure that i had a good balance between martial arts and my training which i do now and guess what i chose to compete i'm like you know what I want to stick to my rule that I'm going to compete at least once a year, regardless of where my strength is at, just to stay sharp. And because that's what Barbell Brigade is about. We're, we're a gym of competitive lifters. And now I actually feel like I could probably match my old strength, which I'm really excited for. Because once I do that, then comes the second bucket list thing that I've been wanting to do, which is to do an amateur fight. So if I could do an amateur fight with my old powerlifting strength, then at 34, I've reached the peak of my athleticism. Isn't that crazy? So many people feel like their athleticism and just their overall body and metabolism starts dying at 30. I still think I'm peaking. I think if you train right, you eat right, and you sleep right, I think you could keep going until you're 40. I mean, look at all the UFC fighters. Those guys are some of the top guys retire after 40. And they go ham-ham. So that's my goal. That's why today... To get a good head start on my meat prep, I woke up an extra 20 minutes early, which is why it's so freaking dark out here. But I really wanted to finish my program before I get into all my meetings. I don't want to rush it or anything like that. And I'm really excited. Tired though, but excited. Four sets in, feeling really good. I'm doing a 385 for seven sets of three. That's the start of my volume. Uh, this prep slowly I'm gonna build up in weight and the amount of reps that I do totally but what's dope is I feel like the start of the barbell brigade powerlifting team is coming back together because Blee is gonna do it with me too Blee came in at 7 a.m. to get it done and I'm actually more excited for you because I've done a bunch of meets right and I know the strongest I've been I'm just trying to match that with my new dad life in martial arts but for you you overcame a disease that prevented you, it's like the anti-gains disease. What yeah. disease was that? Rage. And you've been struggling with your weight, right? Yeah, so the metabolism, not the metabolism disease, but it's a hormone disease that makes me more metabolism. Like hypo, hypo, hypo or hyper? Hyper. 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 Oh, that too fast. Yeah. So I wasn't even getting the nutrients because my body was saying, like, hey, shit, Yeah. Get the gains. Yeah. But now you're going to do the meat and you have the medication. I'm so excited for you, dude. I don't want to say it, but it feels light, it feels good. Yeah, yeah, don't want to jinx it, huh? Like the first week, though, I know Carl's programs, they're, they're okay 
need to be getting, but the phase two, once phase two comes in, it's gonna suck. I know, but we got what, 12 weeks, 13 weeks? Ooh, we just gotta stay dead. We gotta keep each other accountable. 12 weeks. Let's do it. One thing I also uh, just noticed about myself that because my life has become so routine that I don't really think much of it. But sometimes, like, you know, when you reflect at your life and you think about yourself in third person, you're like, oh shit, that's crazy. And one of the ones is this. So I'm so busy, like, going straight from gym to the office to meetings to like my days packed and then when I get home it's immediately family time but I don't really have much leisure time right and then so most people go like, well then how the hell do you still post on multiple Instagram accounts I have mine that I post at least once a day um, Taika's I try to do like every couple of days um, and then the barbell brigade one and uh, it's during times like this like when I'm walking well I'm vlogging right now so I can't do it but oh damn it my phone just turned off but usually um, as I'm walking I'm typing notes or future captions on my phone because one thing I realized is uh, when you want to write a caption sometimes because you're put on the spot you don't write the best captions so all of my best captions whether they're funny or inspirational or philosophical I discovered I actually wrote them at another time like I just have a, a random thought like an epiphany or whatever and I put it down and so it's when I'm walking <laughs> because of how busy I am and that's why I want to turn down the level of busy I can't even walk like a normal person I have to walk and work like I'm literally always just working and I'm like man that's not healthy it's not good for mental health so um, but reflecting upon it, I'm like man that's pretty nuts that I got myself to the point where I can't even walk regularly. I have to walk and work. There is not one wasted minute in my life. Some people might look at it and go, oh man, that's what I strive to be. To me, I think that's too much, man. You just gotta be a human, be an animal sometimes, you know? Like, not have to be compelled to, to, to like stretch every second of your life into work. Yoo-hoo. Hello, hey everyone. Why, what, this tiny little camera? Yeah. It looks like you're about to flash me from like uh, Men in Black. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's convenient though. Like I could put it in my pocket. Too, huh? Yeah, it works really good. Have you showed it in the mirror? Yeah, yeah, I showed it on the mirror. It looks tiny. It looks like I'm just holding like a little MP3 player. Remember those? Yeah, yeah. How's the audio on? Pretty good, actually. I tested it. Yeah. About to do a little meet and meetings. Thank you. So I'm running low on time. So today I had to do uh, one of those weird half showers. And a half shower is what I call a shower when I don't really have time to use soap and shampoo. But I also don't want to just show up like all sticky and feeling all gunky and weird. So what I ended up doing is I just rinsed with the hottest water possible for like a good minute or two. And I changed my shirt so I don't have that random salt ring, but I didn't have time to do my hair because I know that's gonna take time. I wore a hat, yes, it's still sweaty, but fuck it. Put on a little bit of cologne just to cover it all up. Still wearing my workout shorts, took off my socks because now my feet are, I guess, a little bit cleaner. <laughs> and this is my new outfit, but at least I don't feel sticky. And once the uh, air hits me, I'm gonna feel like fresher and I wouldn't feel as self-conscious but I gotta head all the way over across town to Pasadena for my next meeting and this one's a big one this one's for SIP uh, which is our, our matcha um, what the hell am I gonna sneeze <laughs> which is our matcha group got two locations one in Westwood one in Roland Heights or City of Industry and we got a plan for the next uh, couple of events that are popping off so I'll see you guys there can you say June June, can you say what you just said so I could pretend like we're just starting this meeting right now? I said, welcome, guys. Thanks so much for coming. It's the first time we've been together, all of us, in one room for a long time. It is. I'm so excited to come out, you guys. Yay! 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 Yay!
and make sure that everybody is a matcha expert. They don't know because they're our new partners! Yay! Yay! Welcome to the family! Took you guys long enough. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's get started. So, who can tell me what matcha is? Ooh, me! Yeah! Bart, <laughs> teach It's green tea. Go on. <laughs> David, don't look at me with those Korean eyes. <laughs> it's green tea and it's dried leaves that's crushed up. And then so it's like green cocaine. Beautiful, basically. So, so all, all matcha is green tea, but then not all green tea is matcha. Exactly. So what makes matcha special are a few very significant things that we'll go through. First, I want to tell you guys that all tea leaves are made from the same species of plant, which is called the Camellia cementis. So it is. Damn, you know um, a lot, huh? This, this, the green that you see, that <laughs> is what all tea is made out of. But it's just a different way. <laughs> it's just a different way that it's produced, which makes a different kind of tea. That's how they make black tea, yep. white tea, but it depends on the stage of when the leaves are plucked. Yes, and fermentation. So yeah. green tea is just steamed and dried, but then, for example, oolong is partially fermented, and then black oh. tea is fully fermented. Mm -hmm. Ooh. So where does our matcha come from? Our matcha comes from a hundred-year-old farm in Japan, which we're all going to in May. We built a relationship with this farm, and we've been there ourselves. This is it right here. Um, what makes matcha very uh, special and kind of like green tea on steroids is that it's shaded when it's grown. So this, oh. this black mesh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this black mesh creates more core fill in the plants because they're not getting as much sun and they have to work that much harder to get their nutrients. And so that's what makes the leaves sweeter, more delicate, and they're fresher. <laughs> no, it's my new camera. <laughs> okay. Okay, what's the directions? So taste the one on the right. Can we mix it? Because it looks like it's so Yeah, give it a little, if you can give it a little swirl. Let me know what you think, Tiff. Because I only got one hand. Oh yeah, you want me to hold it for you? No. So, it's really difficult to find matcha straight up. The way that we serve this it. matcha. And it, when, we, when we ask for it, people look like this. Look at us like we're crazy if we're going to another shop mm. that doesn't specialize in matcha. It's actually really, uh, mm. it's hard to find good quality matcha. So this is in its purest form, but it's actually not pure because you taste the sweetness in it. Yeah. So this is what they offer as what's their purest form. This one right here? Yes. The one okay. Right. In Japan? No, 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 it's not in Japan. We, we, this is samples that we got outside. So I'm, I'm showing you guys these samples so that you can try the different ones that aren't ours. Oh, you got this from some random fuck outside? Yes. Oh. This is good. <laughs> random fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So, okay. You know what this tastes like? Mm. Curry House. Curry House? They have this at Curry oh, House. True, yeah. Mm. I like oh, Curry House. It's houses. a little bit better than Curry House. It might be that. Sweeter. I think it's that matcha can thing. So if you guys can imagine, our matcha is is like this, right? It's pure stone ground. But once mm. they put other things inside, like sugar, then it's not as pure. And they do that because they want to mask flavor of the matcha. Gotcha. Because matcha is at high quality, so they want to mask that so that you're just tasting the sweet. And Are we going to drink the other two now? So, yes. So, drink. So, the middle one. This is this place's purest form. But it's right. pure it's with sweet. cream? Yes. Yeah, so, this place It's has, like a matcha latte. Yes, their matcha comes with milk oh, that and tastes sugar good. in powdered form. Oh, these taste good, too. <laughs> this is pretty good. But what I'm saying, I think, I think what you guys, it's, it's not very really common. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think this is the standard is what all oh, yeah. people so, don't know because they, this is what's in abundance. The point is to show you guys what people are drinking and what they think is good. Gotcha. And what they think is pure and good for them. So if they're drinking this middle one, it comes with cream, it comes with sugar. Or like, it's brighter. Can you tell me what the hell I'm looking at? Yes. So you can tell that the green is different. If that one's ours, that one's that one's darker. Yes, this one's a little bit brownish yeah. and dull. Yep. 
but the brightness comes from the chlorophyll. Mm -hmm. And so this means that this one's higher quality because this green is more chlorophyll. Mm -hmm. See, this one passes around. I know what's up, dude. Keep our tin open, like, awesome, like, like, kind of like a full scoop of the fullest scoop. Well, that's too much. <laughs> Medium. There. There you go. Yeah. Well, I guess if you're all yeah, yeah. Not all of the, not all, of, all the whisks are branded, huh? That one's branded. Look so at the do you whisk, whisk it? Can you whisk it now? Oh no, there's no there's water, water in there. Oh, okay. look at the whisk on the. Ooh, look it's at the, branded. the handle. That's so cool. Oh nice. So we have four ounces. Oh, it's water. chemistry class again. Four ounces. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I watched your video. Yeah? yeah so. You did? And then, no, I kind of know what I'm doing. That's tight. So did you watch my video? Though? I cannot learn. Yeah. Dude. Oh, I didn't I'm learn. I'm not in that stage. So. Did you watch my video? No. Oh, you're <laughs> left handed? That thing is always uh, the scooper. It's always like pretty precise when I'm close to. Oh, really? Yeah. Is that you're always supposed to do like zigzags, not a circle? Um, not a circle because you don't get everything from the bottom. You yeah. want the. the Foam. Oh. Needs to be yeah. Yeah. So you gotta do zigzags. So I see. Try that. And then Joe, you can do yours. Yeah. Oh, she's rough with it. She was way faster than you, dude. I know. I'm gonna try. It's, it's like That's like workout. kind of like relaxed. Like, oh, yeah. Do it like all smooth. And stuff yeah. Like she's all like rough She wants it uh, frothy, she said. Yeah, frothy. I like it's like uh, whisking eggs. I think you guys are. Yeah, or like overextend your wrist. Yeah, you gotta go like this. Yeah. 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 Okay, so I'm gonna be making my own uh, matcha. So your ceremony is great right? matcha. Oh. You can actually get this set uh, up uh, at our store. Uh, oh yeah, so you can hear it. You, do this. you wanna try mine? You guys, I have the best one in the house. There you go. It was yeah. pretty good. I'll try it. Is that the one from uh, Ooh, look at all the froth in here. The one in the cup? Yeah. That's no, the one. When you when you yeah, drink, so okay. and then like when you drink this mm, stuff, it's refreshing. you're supposed to pass it around. So you get the bowl and then you fucking you move it, and then you go and you take a bite of your candy and you give it to the next person. In Japan, we're gonna be doing a tea ceremony. Oh, oh really? We're gonna be doing a traditional tea. I'm gonna dress like a geisha. All of us? Oh, yeah. We're gonna put makeup on. Yes, we're gonna be geisha. That's tight. I just got home. The meeting ran really late. Oh, we had to do so much business discussion stuff, but I hope I made it back in time to see Taika at least a little bit before he goes to sleep. I see a munchkin. I see a little munchkin. Are you brushing your teeth? Are you brushing your teeth, you little munchkin? Oh, at least your face is healing, mister. That looks nice. Where's your mama? Are you just brushing your teeth by yourself? Where's mama? You brush your teeth by yourself? That's so independent. Where's your mama at? Yeah. Mama. Mama, where are you? Where is she? You don't know? Is she in the closet? Is she in here? Mama, where are you? I know, where's mama? You don't know? Donde esta mama? <laughs> you don't know? Oh, good job! Good job! You ratted me out! You ratted me out! My own blood! My own son! I was in labor for 12 hours with you. <laughs> He's gone. He doesn't care. He walked in. <laughs> He's so good. Big cuny. Why are you wearing such low cut shirts, you little hussy? Ah! Trying to turn me on? Trying to make bica? Why? There. Hey, that doesn't help. <laughs> it helps other parts, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you big cuny. Oh, this is cute. Mm. Look, now you're on the camera. Oh, snap. Marber straight jacked my ice water and covered up those bazungas. What else are you going to do, huh? <laughs> what is that? What is that? <laughs> what are you about to say something? No. 
why are you walking away from me? My always does this thing where as I walk towards her, she always just, why did you start walking away? Why? What are you doing? Then why are you walking away from me? You don't even know what I'm going to do. Tell me to jump over the counter. I'm not. I'm not going to do anything. Yeah, you are. But the chair's in the way. I'm just telling them goodbye. That's it. I like that you had a little your reaction. Uh -uh. The little thing turned around. All right. Thank you guys for following me along with my day. Um, as you guys see, we're planning for a Japan Civ trip. I can't wait till I go there and go on the tea farms and stuff. And it's going to be Taiko's first time in Japan. It'll be so awesome. But thank you guys so much. <laughs> I can see my dancing in the background. Don't forget to support our content and our brand. Go to barbabergate.com. See you guys next time. Peace.